Howdy, my name is Bobby, and I move up my 1971 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. And over the winter, I'm going to rebuild. So welcome to the channel. Like I said, this is a 1971 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Uh, believe it or not, this is my first car. So I got this when I was a junior in high school on my way to becoming a senior. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to buy it from the original owner. So he and his wife would take this car cross country. Uh, when I got it, it had something like 165,000 miles on it. Uh, now it's got about 185. So I, I've put quite some miles on it in my uh, seven or eight years of owning it. I've done a ton of work to this car. This is, uh, except for the paint, this is nowhere near how I got it. It's been a great cruiser so far. I mean, I in high school, I, I drove it to school a couple times a week. Uh, in college, I, I drive it up there whenever I could. This was Oldsmobile's luxury offering for the 1971 model year. Uh, from the factory, it would have had a Rocket 350 V8, a Turbo Hydromatic 350, or a Turbo 350 as it's more commonly known, and an open differential 10 bolt with a 276 highway gear. That made it very easy to cruise on the highway, even though turbo hydromatics have three gears, uh, with the final gear being a one-to-one -one ratio. With a 276 gear, they could cruise along the highway at 70 miles an hour all day long. And that's how I drove it around for uh, a couple years before I did some modifications. The way the car sits now, it has a Rocket 350 in it still. Um, however, it's not the original block. It's actually a motor out of a 1969 Oldsmobile. Still pretty much the same, just not the original motor. I swapped out the Turbo 350 for a 200R4, which is part of the reason why the car is broken as it is right now. Um, I did some work to the differential, the exhaust, um, and some minor performance mods to the engine, which I'll go into more detail in a, in a later video. Being a young kid, I wanted more power. I wanted it to be louder and I ended up making it a little less drivable. So what I did is I put a 200R4, um, which if you know anything about those transmissions, they are a little finicky, and if you don't get it exactly right, you can grenade your car. And that's basically what happened. So the ultimate goal for this car is for it to be a big luxury cruiser with some modern upgrades. I'd love to be able to do things like Hot Rod Power Tour, Drag Week, uh, but really, what I want more than anything else is to be able to drive it and not worry about it. And some of the modifications that I had done, I started to worry about it and then I ended up blowing it up, like I said in the beginning, and now it's not driving. So as the channel goes along, we're going to have some major projects, we're going to have some minor projects, and I'll put together a full list of all the things that I want to work towards until April. Typically, uh, over the years, I've stored the car in November and taken it back out in April. So that's the, the window of time that I'm giving myself to get all this stuff done. April 1st, I want this car on the road, running, driving, and cruising. So if you want to follow the build, if you're interested in what's going to happen, if you really want to see this car back on the road again, subscribe. You'll get instant updates whenever I put out a new video, and you'll get to track the progress of getting this beauty back on the road. So I hope you enjoy.